What stood as a landmark since 1872 was carefully demolished for everyone's safety. A building of historical significance, a spiritual home to generations. The horror, disbelief, you know, many of them were born in this town. They were baptized in that church. You know, they were hoping to die in that church. So it cradles all kinds of precious memories and experiences. Elaine Schindel watched as the First Baptist Church, her church, nearly burned to the ground. And again this afternoon as what was left came down. It's really devastating. It's like, um, how do I explain, a death in the family. Lightning first ignited the 180 foot tall steeple as strong storms pushed through Wakefield Wednesday night. This was so unexpected and um, just shocking. It just feels so sad. Parishioners watched with tears in their eyes then and now. It's been very important to us and our family for a long time, for many years. We come every Sunday. We lost a lot of memories, a lot of um, a lot of beautiful musical instruments. And yet, not all was lost. You know, our faith is one of uh, hope and resurrection. And um, you know, we believe that you could rise from the ashes and joy comes in the morning. This church was home to a number of meetings, community meetings, a preschool, and more than 100 members. Many of those members meeting tonight to discuss their feelings and what comes next. We're live in Wakefield, Julie Lonchek, WCVB News Center 5.